To repay his debt worth crores, this man will have to reach the other side by walking on a thin platform thousands of feet above the ground. But how did it end up in this condition? To know, watch our today's story. The story begins with a poor boy named Kaiji, who used to buy lottery every day and also lose. He worked at a useless job, and often cursed his life. He did not like rich people because they evaded taxes. And one day in this anger he kicked a Mercedes. That car belonged to a girl named Rinko, Rinko asked her bodyguard to pick it up and brought it to her office. Many years ago, a friend of Kaiji had taken a loan from Rinko's company. And he had taken guarantee for it, but now because that friend ran away without paying the money, now he will have to repay all the money. The cost of the loan had now reached 20 lakh rupees including interest. Kaiji could not collect so much money by selling himself, so Rinko made him an offer. There is going to be a betting match soon, where many debtors like him will come. And if he wins this game, his loan will be forgiven. Finally Kaiji reached to play the game, where many poor people had come to try their luck. Then a man named Yukio explained the rules to them, every player will get 3 stars, which will be worth 10 locks only. Everyone will also get 12 cards, which will have rock paper scissors on them. Whenever someone wins a round, he will get 1 star from the opponent. To win the entire game, they have to collect 3 stars by eliminating 12 cards of 12 in 30 minutes. As soon as Yukio left, all the players started looking for someone to play the game with. Then a man named Funai came to Kaiji, he had an idea. He said that if they played together, all the cards would be destroyed. And their stars will also remain with them. Kaiji also agreed, and both of them started playing together. They would throw stone on top of stone, and scissors on top of scissors, so that neither of them would lose. But in the end Funai cheated him by throwing away the winning card. Ultimately Kaiji had only one star and one card left. Angered by this betrayal, KG started beating Punai, due to which Punai's blood splattered on his card. Eventually the guards freed him, but Punai told everyone that Kaiji only had the scissor card left. In return Kaiji also said, he also has the stone card. This created chaos among all the players. Now there were only 10 minutes left, so Funai said that they should all mix their cards and deal again. Everyone immediately agreed to this, but now Kaiji had a plan in his mind. Punai shuffled all the cards and dealt them again, Kaiji got the bloodstained card, and along with a player named Ishida, he challenged Punai to a game. In exchange for winning a bet, he asked for three stars. Punai was confident of his victory because he had seen the blood mark on the Kaiji leaf. But Kaiji also knew this, and after playing the game, he defeated Punai. He had already taken Ishida's card and put blood on it. And Funai felt that this was his card. Eventually Ishida and Kaiji got three stars each. And they ended the game by playing a draw among themselves. But at the last moment Ishida remembered that he had one more card left. But alas, now the time was over, so the guards caught him and took him away. But because Kaiji had promised to support him, he also went with him. They were being taken underground to build a palace for a billionaire man named Hayaudu. There the laborers had to work continuously without stopping, and in the name of food, they were given very simple food. A microchip was inserted in the shoulders of all of them, so that they could not run away. Apart from this, he also got very little money. Kaiji was given just 5 to 6 dollars for working hard the whole day. Despite this, Kaiji was determined to repay his loan by gradually accumulating money. But soon there was beer and delicious food, and Kaiji controlled himself for once. But when the shopkeeper gave him free liquor and praised the food, he could not control himself, and that evening he spent all his saved money on liquor. This was the condition of all the prisoners, and thus they would remain slaves of the company for years. Then the next day, due to an earthquake, Ishida got hurt, so Kaiji immediately took him to get treatment. But then he came to know that even for the treatment here he would have to pay for it himself. Then he realized that no matter how much money he collected, he would never be free. But the doctor told him that there is a way to escape from here. Soon people will be gathered for Brave Man Road game. Go for it, and if you win, you will become rich. Then after a few days, the guards started taking a prisoner named Sahara for the Brave Man Road game. This was a very dangerous game, where if you win, you will get freedom, if you lose, you will get death. But Kaiji Ishida agreed to take this risk. After this, he was blindfolded and taken to an unknown place. When they opened their eyes, they were on the roof of a building, and Yukio once again explained the rules to them. Each player received a ticket worth 10 million yuan, and to get this amount, they would have to cross Braveman Road to the roof of the building in front. This road was made of two thin wires in the air, through which thousands of watts of electricity were flowing. The player who walks straight on these and reaches the front, will get a reward of 1 crore yuan. Actually, this game of death was being organized for the entertainment of many rich people of the country. 
At first all the players were very scared, but Kaiji himself boosted everyone's morale by taking part in the game. Then Yukio and Rinko go back to the hotel, where they will commentate the game for the rich. On the other hand, Kaiji drew a line between everyone's shoes, so that it would be easier for them to balance. Soon all the players started moving on the wires, and Kaiji was about to slip and fall, but caught himself on the spot. But as soon as lightning struck from the sky, a player slipped and fell. Due to which he got a severe shock and he lost his life. Similarly, one by one many players lost their balance and kept falling down. And finally only Kaiji, Sahara and Ishida were left. Rich people were celebrating the fall of every player as if a football player had become a coal. Seeing this, Rinko got very angry, whereas Ishida lost courage due to the heavy rain. And he gave his ticket to Kaiji and said, Friend, if you win, then send the money for my ticket to my daughter. Then as soon as Kaiji turned, he fell down, and was deeply saddened by the death of his friend. Eventually Sahara and Kaiji slowly and somehow crossed the brave man road and reached the door. They thought they had won, but then Kaiji noticed Hayadu. And he understood that something was definitely wrong. As soon as Sahara opened the door, he got a strong shock and he fell down. Kaiji also slipped, but he saved his life by hanging on, and ultimately he became the first person to win Brave Man Road. When Kaiji asked for his winnings, Yukio said he couldn't get Ishida's money because he was dead. Apart from this, after deducting Kaiji's debt from his reward, only $7,000 is left. This betrayal made him furious, and he attacked Yukio. But the guards caught him immediately, while seeing his spirit, Hayadu gave him a chance to play another game. The name of this game is E-Cards, and he has to play against Yukio. In this game, both the players will have five cards, out of which four cards will be common people, one will have king and one will have slave. The player with the rook first will place his card face down, and the player with the king card will make his move. If the common man's card falls on a common man, the game will be a draw. A common man can defeat a slave, and a slave can defeat a king. There will be three games in this game. Kaiji chose the slave cards when he got the chance, even though he knew very well that he would have to lay down the cards first, and Yukio might be affected by his expressions. Finally the game started, all his friends and prisoners were watching this game on underground TV. Kaiji placed two citizens first, and was drawn in front. But Yukio already knew when he inserted the slave, and defeated him easily. But Hayadu wanted to watch more games, so he loaned Kaiji some money so he could play again. This time Kaiji noticed that Yukio was neither looking at him nor at his cards. Kaiji first tried to throw the slave, but this time also Yukio defeated him. He was unable to understand how Yukio managed to trick him every time. As the guards began to take Kaiji away, he noticed that Yukio was wearing a watch. Eventually he realized that, with the help of the chip inserted into Kaiji's body, Yukio could see his heartbeat on his watch. Whenever Kaiji threw the slave, his heartbeat would increase. Well, now I will have to spend my entire life in slavery. But then when Kaiji thought carefully about all the troubles he had faced so far, a plan came to his mind. First he went to the bathroom and told Rinko his plan and asked for a loan of 5 crore yuan. So that he can play once again, Rinko finally agrees, and Hayadu is quite shocked to see Kaiji back. Kaiji knew that if his body felt pain, his heart would continue to beat. So he arranged it like this. Then Kaiji picked up three cards on the table and hid them in his lap. But then he looked away from Yukio and replaced a card. Similarly, two cards lying on the table got blood, the game started and now Yukio's condition was getting worse. In the first round, both of them threw the common man card, and the game was drawn. Next time Kaiji kept the leaf which had blood on it, Yukio remembered that before the blood was drawn, there were cards of slaves and common people on the table. That's why Yukio also threw the common man's card. Kaiji also threw the same card, so the game was drawn again. Now Yukio was sure that the second bloody card was a slave. Finally, Kaiji placed the bloody card again, and Yukio was about to defeat him by throwing the common man's card at him that he realized that Kaiji is not that stupid after all. Because in the first game too, he had blood on a new leaf. Yukio remembered that Kaiji had changed a card in the beginning. So this means that this time he has not thrown the card of a slave but of a common man. Yukio threw the king with full confidence, but Kaiji had actually kept the slave, so he won. Kaiji said that he never changed the cards, he just pretended to change them. Now Yukio was defeated, and Hayadu sent him underground to work as a laborer. The next day, Kaiji and Rinko celebrate and divide the prize money. But suddenly Kaiji became unconscious, actually Rinko had mixed his liquor. When the poor man opened his eyes, Rinko had run away with the money. He had written in a letter that he had given a loan to Kaiji for the game by charging interest on every minute. 
And now after deducting all the money, Kaiji is left with only $4,000. Kaiji is devastated again after being cheated on again, leaving Rinko to pursue her YouTube job. A few days later, Ishida's daughter received $4,000 and her father's ticket in an unknown letter. Found. Now Kaiji may not have anything, but for him his freedom was everything. And this movie ends here.